witness of a large of difficulties in Gaza, especially we have witness of the three wars. We've seen a lot of injured people with eye trauma. Uh, of course, uh, uh, this 10 years was very difficult for Gaza people because of uh, uh, economical blockade of Gaza. That's why unemployment rate was increased. Now it's about 40 percent. Thank God we was able to help these people by offering uh, him services of, free of charge and uh, sometimes with a large of discounts. Gaza, we put a clinic in there a few years ago and in a very run-down part of the, the old city. And it's, in a sense, it's been a victim of its own success. Obviously, we started with small numbers. Now we're looking at about 26,000 people per year. I have a very long history of St. John. When I was five years, I got eye trauma in my left eye. I uh, was treated in uh, Jerusalem by uh, uh, specialist there. And uh, at that time, I have decided to be eye doctor. <coughs> we have now good projects that we are building a new hospital. We will establish uh, all kind of uh, service. It is also the only major building being put up in Gaza at the moment by any NGO. Now, that doesn't just happen. That, that's taking a lot of diplomacy and working on things and a lot of effort by a lot of people. We will be able to keep going in any future conflict. We had to close for a brief period during the last conflict because we we're putting our patients in, in danger with the very run-down premises that we had. If there'd been uh, any shedding nearby, they, they would be in very much at risk. The new premises, we've adapted to that. And that's part and parcel of, again, providing the best service and continuity of service, no matter what.